Hi everybody, I'm Carrie. Yes, like I said, you are the first female guest in this series. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> I'm so happy because before we had Hyano, we had Paris, we had Keith, and they all like to tease me. But finally, <laughs> someone I can talk peacefully mm -hmm. with more, you know, elegance. I'm on your side. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So yeah. this is Carrie. I am sure some of you already know. Uh, for those who don't know about you, please introduce yourself a little. Sure. Uh, my name is Carrie. Uh, I've lived in Korea for four years. Right now I'm in Canada, but I'm in the process of finishing a master's degree to come back to Korea and work here again. And uh, I make YouTube videos at expatcarrie.com. So yes. you can find We're us. We're gonna put the link somewhere in the video. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so when Carrie visited this time, I was like, we should make a video together. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> because this topic I wanted to talk about, but I'm not one, and Hyano is not the one, <laughs> and you know, Taris is not one, Keith is not one, mm -hmm. Ben is not one. So mm -hmm. here we are with Carrie to talk about being a vegetarian in Korea. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very, very interesting topic, and yes. I am sure a lot of people are curious about this. Yes. So this is Ask Hyojin, but today it's not Ask Hyojin, <laughs> but it's Hyojin Asks Carrie. <laughs> so it's Ask Asking and asking and yes. passing the question <laughs> on to someone who can try to answer it. <laughs> because I don't know much about this. Yes. So, first of all, vegetarian in Korean is mm -hmm. 채식 주의자. Mm -hmm. 채식 주의자. So you should know this word because you have to explain yourself when you go to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. 그러면은 질문해도 돼요? Mm. <laughs> first question. Yes. What is it like being a vegetarian in Korea? Is it easy, medium, difficult? Um, I would say when you first arrive, if you don't speak any Korean, it's difficult. Oh, okay. And then the more Korean that you learn, the more foods that you learn about, it becomes easier. And by the time you realize what you can eat and what you can't, and how how you can survive in certain restaurant situations, it can be easy. So when you first came here, yeah. it was very difficult for yeah. you. Yeah, because I didn't know how to ask for anything. So I would just say, uh, I want this soup, and I didn't know how to say properly, how to properly pronounce mm -hmm. So I would be like really afraid when I would speak Korean and say, <laughs> they wouldn't understand, or they would say, what is that? And I would get soup with pork in it, and it was confusing. But as I learned Korean, as I became more familiar, it became easier. So now it's it's relatively easy. I think before, a few years ago, the concept of 채식 mm. 주의자 is pretty new yeah. in Korea. I so agree. not many people yeah. maybe have not heard about the word mm -hmm. itself. I've been told that I'm the first mm -hmm. vegetarian that so many people have met. Mm. And they ask, like, are you a Buddhist? And say, no. <laughs> and they, this, uh, it's a very strange concept, but it's growing. I think it's becoming think. more common these days. Not common, but but it's becoming something that people have heard of these yes. days. Yes. Yeah. So, Carrie, as far as I know, you were not in Seoul for a long time, no. even when you're in Korea. Mm -hmm. So, do you think there is a difference between Seoul and other mm. like, cities? I do. Um, I lived in Jinju for two years, and there was mm -hmm. a uh, really good restaurant there called The Loving Hut. Mm -hmm. And they have it in Seoul as well, but I was really lucky that there was one in oh. Jinju. So, I went there a lot, and it's an entirely vegetarian restaurant. So, that's a really good one to know, and it doesn't exist in the really small cities but mm -hmm. Jinju had one so, and there's one in Busan there's one in Seoul so I'm pretty sure there probably would be one in Daegu and Daejeon and other places so like that. So this restaurant Loving Hut yeah. is for vegetarians. Yes yes so they mm -hmm. have all the foods that you might want to eat like jajangmyeon or other you know staple Korean foods but you can have them made with um, meat made of soy so ah. it's, it's a really 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 great restaurant and they also sell um, chaesik ramen. Oh wow yeah. they have chaesik yeah. ramen as yeah, well. Yeah it's, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I made a video of it actually. Uh, okay. Yeah. You should check it out. So, like, there are vegetarian restaurants in Korea. Mm -hmm. Not many. Yes. Not many. Um, are there many? It depends what you mean by many. Okay. <laughs> no, I would say there's not many, but they do exist. Mm -hmm. Like, I like to go to restaurants in temples. Temples? They usually, oh, right. they usually are vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you can see restaurants that are totally vegetarian, but not usually. 
Okay. Yeah. So like I have a lot of questions like what you eat, yes. what kind of food you eat. Sure. Like sometimes you know when you hang out with your friends mm-hmm. and they're not vegetarian mm-hmm. and you are yes. and you can just insist let's go to a vegetarian yeah. restaurant. So how yeah. you can react, yeah. how you can like explain yourself mm-hmm. or like what sh- you should avoid. Like yes. there are foods that you know you think it's okay mm-hmm. and there's no meat, but turned yes. out it's made out of meat. Yes. Yes. Well, um, I eat a lot of dosa bibimbap, mm. and when I order it, I say kogi bego. Just kogi bejuseyo. Yeah, kogi bejuseyo. 네. Yeah. <laughs> so I eat a lot of dosa bibimbap. Mm. Basically, anything that I eat that might originally have meat in it, I have it taken out. Oh, so in that case, the important <laughs> phrase is kogi bejuseyo. Kogi is mm-hmm. the current word for meat, so kogi Be. bejuseyo. Yeah. Please take out the meat. Yes. So mm. I'm a pretty liberal vegetarian. That means okay. that I would eat a soup with the broth made of anchovy okay. uh, anchovy broth like I would eat that simply because I think it's a little bit easier when you live here to mm. eat things that have that broth even though in Canada I don't do that but when I'm here I just I think it's a lot easier to make that exception so I'm okay doing that but if you're not it would be really hard to have any soup here in Korea because I think most soups have some sort of meat or fish base so the foods that I usually eat I eat bibimbap I eat kimbap with the ham out ham <laughs> out um I eat most things that other people eat okay I think just you know you avoid the meat like yeah like today for lunch I had janchi guksu janchi guksu which is like a noodle really really good noodle soup that has like a a piece of egg in the middle it's it's really nice and lots of foods made with tofu tofu okay yeah. there are, there are a lot of tofu based yeah. food in korea yeah and the thing in korea is that you you can live here for a really long time and still encounter new foods different places that you go you can still like uh, even after four years here I still see new things on the table and I, like I just heard the other day about hobak there's some hobak with ori inside wow have you heard of this no <laughs> someone just told me about this and it's like you can be here for so long and you can still encounter new things so that's an that's like a pumpkin duck pumpkin with duck in it but apparently they're cooked separately and then put together so it's, it's actually vegetarian friendly so I want to try that at some point but I think oh, it's in Gangwon province so. okay so you you can get creative with what you eat mm. and you learn a lot of Korean and what you can eat and what you can't and how to ask for what you don't want or do want so if you are strict about not having those broths you have to learn the proper language like is this made with anchovies or is this made with mm. whatever okay so like like in case of Tanjikuk's day you yeah. talked about earlier, yes. they make the broth out of anchovy? I think so. Mm, I think so. So you make the exception yes. for that. Yes. For mm-hmm. me, that's my own personal way of life. That I'm mm. pretty liberal about my vegetarianism, but other people who would be more strict might not do what I do. Mm, okay. So like when you hang out with people, there aren't many vegetarians, Korean vegetarians mm-hmm. around you, I assume. <laughs> I've met zero. <laughs> yeah. So like, of course, people want to go eat this and eat that. Yes, and yes. They are not very vegetarian friendly mm-hmm. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the restaurants, yeah. 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 The like, people are friendly. You, <laughs> <laughs> so um, how do you react? Um, I'm usually, I will go where people want to go. So if everyone wants to go for galbi, Mm -hmm. I'll go with them. And and usually I will order, uh, most galbi restaurants have naengmyeon or doenjang jjigae. Mm -hmm. So I'll order one of those. Doenjang jjigae is the soybean soup. It's Mm -hmm. really good. And naengmyeon is the ice. Cold noodles. Cold noodles. It's um, really, really noodle. good. <laughs> yeah, so both of those are delicious. So I'll usually order one of those with a side of rice. And then there's lots of side dishes. So everybody's going crazy at the meat, and I have all this like soup and stuff for myself. So it's actually it's pretty nice. Well, the other day we, when we were hanging out, we ordered bossam yes. together. Yeah. And she didn't eat bossam, mm-hmm. but she had a lot of other side dishes. Yeah, that's the thing about Korean food is that there's always so many side dishes with like different vegetables, seaweed, and so you have a lot of choice oh. on the other things you can eat besides the main item of the meal. But we did avoid ordering chicken or pizza. Yeah. They don't come with other side dishes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, most pizza in Korea is meaty. Meaty. And, or the sauce might be meat-based, so I don't really eat pizza here. I don't think but we have vegetarian pizza here. I've had I've had vegetarian pizza, but I don't think it's actually vegetarian. Oh, okay. I, think like, <laughs> I think it has like meat in the sauce or something. So mm. I usually don't eat pizza in Korea. But and same with like there's a lot of chicken restaurants that are, 
you know people love chicken here. people love yeah. chicken <laughs> yeah yeah so i i don't really eat chicken chicken here. places in korea they usually only have chicken or fries mm -hmm. that's it yeah. do you eat fries like I eat fries, but I'm not a big I'm not a big fan of fried food, so I don't. Okay. I would never walk into a chicken restaurant. Like if my friend wanted to go there, I would probably insist that we go to a more, mm. you know, a, a place that at least has rice or something. Yeah. So Carrie, do you have any names of the restaurants that you want to recommend? Sure. The first one that I'll mention is the Loving Hut. Uh huh. It's it's really good, and the, like the food is flavorful, and it's a good opportunity to try the foods that you wouldn't be able to try otherwise. And the other one that I really like is Hanjongsik. Okay. It's a Cor traditional Korean table mm -hmm. with lots of lots of side dishes. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm. It's truly amazing. <laughs> you get something new every time. You have this huge table full of side dishes. So even if everyone's having the fish or something in the middle you have so many things to choose from and you get a side of rice and it's usually a really satisfying meal so i i often have hanjongsik with friends yeah. <laughs> yeah well i think we've covered pretty much everything yeah. yeah so there are a lot of people who want to come to korea mm -hmm. but they are kind of afraid because they are vegetarian yeah. and they heard you know korea eat a lot yes. of meat yes yeah. i mean it is true but there are ways you can survive here yes, yes. there are ways you can enjoy food here mm -hmm. that's what carrie says yeah yeah mm -hmm. i'll just say one more thing about being mm -hmm. vegetarian here is that people will react with a very oh. surprised face when you say <gasps> your yeah, yeah when you say <laughs> uh, that's what i usually say yeah. i usually don't say okay. because i feel i feel like that's really formal like i believe in vegetarianism yeah. <laughs> whereas like chichikeo just means like i i, I, I eat do. a vegetarian yeah. diet so if, i usually yeah. say chichikeo and that's a like, good way i think Meo. <laughs> Meo? Meo. <laughs> why <laughs> like, like why would you not eat meat so it's it's a uh, simply because there aren't mm. many vegetarians here so you will get used to explaining why you're vegetarian i mean i grew up learning i mean or being told that only monks like yes. buddhist monks exactly. are vegetarians so yeah. it's a little a new concept here yeah uh, people are getting more and more aware of yeah. it yeah so if you meet a korean friend you can just say yeah. So, yeah. 고기 안 먹어요. yeah and they will understand it they will be surprised at first but yeah. they will learn through you yes that's a good experience yes I think. yeah and yeah. another important phrase you should know is 고기 빼주세요 <laughs> yes. in the restaurant you need it 빼주세요 고기 빼주세요 네. yep. yeah I think that's it yep. I really loved it you know hosting <laughs> with a girl and I didn't need to answer anything <laughs> yeah I did so, all the work yeah but you thank had you the Carrie. questions <laughs> <laughs> thank you Carrie yes thank and you so much I'm sure there are people who will ask a lot of questions in the comments mm -hmm. so you may want to yeah know, answer some I of the questions I will do my best and you should check out Carrie's YouTube channel here expect Carrie she has a lot of interesting videos including her life in Korea mm -hmm. and I love the series that you did with your students in Korea oh yeah <laughs> that was fun so check it out yeah check it out yeah